everyone, happy Tuesday. Sorry about my face. I'm not putting makeup on today. Um, just having a cup of tea. It's actually really late in the day. It's 25 to four and it's really sunny. It's quite windy though, so it's a bit chilly. Um, but I think I'm gonna actually take the dogs for a walk because I just need to go out and I just need to go for a walk and it would be nice to take the dogs for a walk. So I'm gonna drink this and then I'm gonna go and I will take you with me. You can tell I haven't been the one to walk Archie for a while because he's forgotten all of his manners. Archie, are you gonna walk nicely? No. <laughs> Winnie always walks nicely though. everyone happy Wednesday we have made it halfway through another week um, I'm feeling a lot brighter today the last sort of five or six days I feel like I've just been mainly like vegging on the couch and just watching YouTube videos and playing Animal Crossing and really not doing much of anything um, so that was like partly why I forced myself out on a walk yesterday just to get some fresh air and I'm gonna try and do that as much as possible now I'm intending to go out on another walk again today um, and I wrote myself a to-do list last night um, because I want to have a productive day today and get a load of things done so this morning I've powered through my to-do list and I've done everything I wanted to do um, and now I'm intending to have sort of like a crafty afternoon and go for a walk and everything like I said um, so yeah, I've sorted out my repeat prescription. I called the doctor about something else. So I have followed Pour Some Pores Boutique on social media for quite a long time. Um, and I have a jumper from them that I got for Christmas. Sorry, the washing machine and the dishwasher are going in the background. Now, I don't buy the dogs many things like this anymore because I bought way too many in the beginning um, and they have so much stuff that we just don't use. But unfortunately, Archie has grown out of pretty much every harness he has. So he really needed a new harness, but I didn't want to spend a fortune on one. And then I saw that this cute avocado harness was 19 99 so I've got it for him. And I also ordered Winnie one the next day because she released a really cute pattern as well that I wanted for Winnie the day after. Um, so that should be arriving soon as well. But this is an extra small and sizing is often a bit dodgy for my dogs because they have funny body shapes. So I'm going to try it on him and on Winnie um, because I ordered Winnie the same size. So at least I'll know if hers will fit. But look, the cute postcard and everything. Should we try this on, Mr. Scruff Bag? Okay, the lighting is a bit rubbish, but I think it fits pretty well. It's maybe a little bit loose, but that's actually not necessarily a bad thing. And then the back is um, a different style than I've normally seen, but it seems to fit him okay. I think for Winnie, I will have to extend this part, so I'm gonna try it on her now, but I mean, I think that's, that's pretty good actually. The harness on Winnie. She's super excited because she thinks we're going out now so I might have to take our walk earlier than planned. But um, yeah, I mean it looks tight because I'm pulling it up now but it's not. That's how much room there is in it. I've extended it out for her so there's plenty of room. It's nice and breathable. Plenty of room in here. Good. I think your one's going to fit you just fine Winnie. Cute. Just let Archie off the lead briefly while there's no one around because Winnie is walking so slow today and he is trying to drag me along. He's just lost all of his lead manners from where it's not been me walking him. So I had to let him off because he was going to pull my arm off otherwise, considering he's a tiny dog. He is strong.
I've been crafting for the last hour or two and I've put this little page together of some spare photos from Magic Kingdom, our Disney trip. This is in my um, 2020 creative journal. These are the only two spreads I've done so far. Um, but I want to carry on and try and do some more today. But I just wanted to show you them. Um, these are some photos that didn't make it into my project life. There might be one photo of me in these ears in there, but I'm not sure. I wanted to buy these graduation ears because I'm meant to be graduating from my master's degree this year. It's like a delayed graduation because um, it's just my university graduates at a weird time, basically. So I finished in September last year, but I wouldn't be graduating until October this year. But obviously, I don't know if I will now. Um, and I kind of wish I had bought the ears. Um, and also a spare photo of me meeting Stitch for the first time. And then this really funny photo from Space Mountain. It's not really like a good enough photo to go into my um, scrapbook, but I wanted to document it somehow because I just thought it was so funny. We both thought that Space Mountain was so boring. <laughs> we actually thought that about several of the rides in Magic Kingdom, that uh, the ones in Disneyland Paris are actually better, which I know is like blasphemy to say, but... We didn't realise that this was where the photo was taken and also we just thought it was pretty tame. So yeah, I just thought that was funny and I put, when the ride is a bit tame and you don't know it's photo time, lol. <laughs> but yeah, that's the page that I've made so far. Happy about it. <laughs> oh, Jay. Even Winnie's acting like she's had a bath and she hasn't. <laughs> oh, dear. I need to put a bigger towel on you or get you a new one, Arch, because that's too small. <laughs> Hello everyone, I know I look the same as yesterday, but I promise I have washed and I am wearing different clothes. <laughs> I've just thrown this cardio over the top of my t-shirt because it's chilly in here. Um, hello, are you going to show everyone how handsome you are? We gave you a bath yesterday, didn't we? We've got a long hair problem, but um, you smell nice now. You smell nice and your hair is all shiny and... oh... <laughs> All shiny and smooth, isn't it? Mwah. This poor boy, he needs his hair just cut. <laughs> With him, it honestly is a health thing more than anything because he gets matted, he hates being groomed by me and finds it really stressful. But for some reason, he lets Debbie do it. Oh, thank you, sweet boy. <laughs> honestly, what would I do without these dogs? You're my good boy. It's actually four years today to the day since we met Archie for the first time and picked him out of his litter to be our little puppy. So, yes, you. I'm talking about you. It's four years today since we met you for the first time. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. Um. Anyway, it's actually one o'clock. I've just had some lunch and um, I've just had a really lazy morning because I had a super productive day yesterday and I got everything done that I wanted to get done really. So I've just been enjoying lazing around, doing some reading. Um, I bought a few things off Emma Bridgewater because they released a bunch of stuff um, and I haven't ordered any Emma Bridgewater since November. So I treated myself. Um, and I did also finally get my boots parcel and Winnie's new harness arrived as well. Um, I think I explained yesterday when Archie's arrived that both of them have outgrown their harnesses, really. Um, so they, they both needed a new one. <laughs> and they've arrived. So, um, I'll show you those. And I want to do some more crafting today. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so here is my boots order. Uh, this is normally stuff that I would obviously pick up in store or pick up in the supermarket. But I can't go to any of those places right now. 
and I felt like it was kind of unfair to ask Will to do it because it puts pressure on him trying to find the stuff that I want. So I just ordered it. It took a long time to arrive, I will say that, but obviously they are really busy. Um, what I mean is it took a long time to be dispatched. It only took a couple of days to get here, but it took a long time to be dispatched. Anyway, I got some Aussie Three Minute Miracle Reconstructor deep treatment because I really wanted to get a hair mask, but they have a very limited stock at the moment on Boots. <laughs> Uh, website so um that was basically the only thing that they had in stock um i got the inky list hyaluronic acid to try because i run out of my other hyaluronic acid um i wanted to pick up the retinol as well and i thought i had done and i obviously did so that's a bit annoying but i've got the hyaluronic acid to try got some dry shampoo because i try not to overwash my hair some rimmel london clear complexion radio clarifying power powder sorry in 21 transparent and I ran out of my Lizelle hot cloth cleanser um and they didn't have any of the normal just like bottles on its own I had to buy a whole new kit again uh but that's fine I'm desperate I need it so um that was my boots order and then this is the gorgeous harness that I've got for Winnie from Paws and Paws Boutique. So obviously Archie's one arrived yesterday and Winnie's has arrived today. So I'm going to try it on her, but it's the same size as Archie's one. So hopefully it will fit. And it's called Luscious Leopard, by the way. And I think it's so cute. So I'm just in the garden for a little breather uh, for a minute. Um, because after I last spoke to you uh we got a phone call from will's sister saying that one of our nieces had been in a car accident um basically we didn't know any more information other than that but it's been about an hour now and she's been taken to hospital and seems to be okay considering so obviously that's good but i just wanted to explain why i just suddenly disappeared um even though we know that well even though we've been told that they think she's okay I don't really know what to do with myself now um she's only 17 and she's there all by herself like her parents aren't even allowed to be there because of covid and we can't even go and like support his family because of covid and it's really frustrating <laughs> Good morning everyone, it is VE day today, so it's a bank holiday which means Will doesn't have to work, so that's nice. Um, this morning I've already got up, had a bath, washed, blow dried and straightened my hair, <laughs> although it's already going wavy again. Um, I just wanted to update you about yesterday, thankfully. Our niece is okay, um, so that's great. This morning, I am just having a little look at my renovation scrapbook because I told you guys that it was going to be the next project that I tried to finish. And I went through and I like made sure there were cards in all the slots and I adhered all of the photos and cards and everything together so it was all ready to go. And then I didn't do anything else with it. I finished some other projects instead and started some new ones. So uh, this morning I'm just going through my embellishments. I have two boxes of like ephemera and I've just gone through them and made a pile of ones that might go in this album. And I'm just flicking through now and adding little bits and pieces in um, where I think they might go. <laughs> um, so that it's another step closer to potentially finishing this album. It's just not one that I love working on, especially as we don't live in that house anymore. Um, but I do want to finish it because it was like an exciting time in our lives. And it was three years of work that I do want to document. So I need to do it. <laughs> having a cup of tea in a Union Jack Emma Bridgewater mug because it is VE day today, the 75th anniversary of Victory in Europe day. 
and I always appreciate things like this as someone who loves history but also my granddad served, my great granddad served in World War II like many people's ancestors did, their great grandparents or grandparents. Um, so it feels like an extra special day and the school that I work at is having a little online VE day celebration so they asked people to send in a photo of something red white and blue or how you're celebrating so I put together a little collage of some of my um, Union Jack and my Bridgewater and some pictures of a tea party that my mum and I did for the royal wedding in 2018 um, because the dogs were wearing their red, white and blue stuff and we had all of our like royal Bridgewater out so hopefully that's okay because there's not a lot I can do when I'm at home. But yeah, Will's working on the garden today so basically that flower bed there was full of weeds so we are digging up as many of the weeds as possible then putting down some weed control fabric and filling it with like gravel stones and then we're going to get some pots and plant some actual plants in there and um, so as you can see he's currently just moving all of the dirt from the flower bed to behind those sleepers and we're going to have more sleepers going all the way along to the end of the garden um, and that's all going to be uh, covered with stones as well we did it in our old house and I just thought it looked really neat and tidy and obviously if the occasional weed comes up we can just pull it but there are lots of weeds everywhere in our garden and I won't ever put pesticide on them obviously because of the dogs but also because it's really harmful to bees and I do not want to be responsible for killing any bees um so yeah it is garden work today tomorrow we cut the hedges and yeah Archie will you leave your sissy alone there we go the weed control fabric is down so now the stones can go in but they are super dirty so in our old house I like washed all of the stones before we put them down I just don't know if I can be bothered to do that here and we don't really have the capability to do it either I had like a big um, bucket basin thing in our old house and we don't have that here so we might have to just put them down as grubby as they are and hopefully when we eventually get some rain it will clean them Will got me these really pretty geraniums this one is a pretty little geranium and this one is a Calliope Rose Splash. Cute. Um, he also bought these pots, there's a cream one and a blue one and they match the shed which is cute so they need to be potted into these today um, whilst Will is carrying on with the garden and also because it's VE day we're gonna have scones and cream and jam later. So that's cute. Oh, while I'm here too, I thought I would show you this. My mum has been making masks for everyone at her work out of all the fabrics that we used to use for our Etsy shop. And um, she's been raising money for charity and she's raised like over 200 pound so far with her masks. Now, obviously these are not medical grade. They're meant to sort of offer a little bit of um, like, I don't know, like to make people feel a little bit better when they have to go out, that they have a mask on, so they're sort of less likely to infect other people. Um, yeah, I know they're not medical grade, but she's enjoying making them. She's raised money for charity and she's made me this cute little Peter Rabbit one. So if I do have to go anywhere, I have a little mask I can pop on. There we go. Um, Will's picked these up on a whim for me when he was in B&Q. So um, neither of us know anything about them. So for now, I've just moved them into these pots and I'll do some research on how to look after them and how to like pot them properly um, or move them to an actual like flower bed or whatever and um, hopefully learn how to look after them properly. But for now, I'm gonna pop them outside because it says they really need to be in full sunlight and that's very hard to achieve in this house. There we have it. That's our new fake flower bed. <laughs> Some of the stones are dry, that's why they're so much lighter. Um, but yeah, so like I said, the plan is to put plants in pots on here. And we can start with our two little geraniums that Will's got. 
The dogs are very intrigued. <laughs> Winnie especially, to be honest, actually, because she never normally climbs up there, but she's interested today. Hello, scruffy head. together afternoon tea. Sainsbury's unfortunately did not have the right kind of cream, obviously will go shopping on his own um, so I can't go in to check but um, he said this was the only cream and he sent me photos and I couldn't see any either so um, we're gonna have this uh, for like strawberries and cream later but um, I just went all out with the jam and hopefully it'll taste nice and I have my cucumber sandwiches. <laughs> everyone happy Saturday um, today I'm gonna to be totally open and honest with you um, and like I've said about a couple of things I'm sure there'll be people who disagree and that's fine but please don't leave your negativity on this video because it's not what we need but somebody is here cutting our hedges today a lot of local gardeners are still working for those of you who don't know my dad is a builder he runs his own very small company and a lot of his colleagues people who work with him people who work for him are desperate for work and we were desperate to get our hedges cut um so somebody has come to do it today it's totally contact free um he came through the side gate which will left open for him so he didn't even need to touch the gate he's cutting the hedges then he's taking all the rubbish away and he literally won't even have touched anything that we're going to touch or been in the house we're also not paying via cash um we are both inside the house he's in the garden so obviously i want to be totally open and honest with you guys and say like somebody is here doing the hedges today because i want to show you the the hedges and the fact that we're working on the garden um but i just wanted to explain that we are socially distancing and these people are still allowed to work and obviously I'm not having any contact with them at all and neither is Will. So anyway, the hedges are being cut today so I've spent the morning just journaling in my Animal Crossing journal. I have filmed a video which I'm hoping to put up tonight. I know it's really late in the week for me to be putting up a second video but oh well. Um, what else? I don't know. and I'm starving so I'll be quick but this is the after of our hedges it's a bit of a mess um I'll put a before picture in and an after picture in um it doesn't look great because a lot of it is dead um and the dead bits won't grow back but the bits that are green should continue to grow and thicken up now that they've been like properly maintained excuse our neighbors they like to make a lot of strange noises um I've got some little plants down here. I've hung my little lanterns in there for now and um, lots more to do on the garden but I'm just so happy with how light it is in here like the sunshine actually goes up to the edge of the garden now and it's never done that before so we're happy aren't we Winnie? Winnie are you happy? <laughs> are you happy Archie? Look how bright my craft room is guys it's gone past three o'clock but look how bright it is oh I should have waited to um film my video instead of filming it earlier but it is so lovely and bright in here but I'll show you the Animal Crossing journal so that's the front of my journal that's the first page this is the page that I filmed a little flip up there I've also done this one I didn't film this though 
I've also done this one. Didn't film that one either. And then I started, might be further on. Yeah, I started this one, but I haven't printed the photos for the rest of this page yet. So I don't know like 100% what it's gonna be about. So I've left it at that for now. And now I'm going back and doing what about turnips and these cute little pictures of my character in the rain. Good evening, everyone. It's a lot later now. And I've got my glasses on again because I'm brewing a headache. Um, it's actually five to six, but it is so light in here. I just can't get over it. The hedges being trimmed have just made such a difference. My craft room is still really light and it's nearly six o'clock. Like, I just can't get over it. Anyway, I have a cup of tea and a Disney mug and I'm finally going to watch the last episode of the Imagineering story before I have some dinner. I've been saving it for a day where I just really feel like I need some Disney magic. So um, even though I'm in like a happy, cheery mood today, I'm going to watch it. Um, I edited and up... <laughs> Will's coming down the stairs. Um, I edited and uploaded the Animal Crossing journaling video, so I'll leave the link to that in the description and I would love it if you would go and watch it lots and lots of people asked me to do an Animal Crossing journal video so I cobbled one together today and um, it's uploaded so please go and leave me a nice comment on that and while I'm on that topic thank you so much to everyone who is watching and commenting on my videos during this crazy time um, I've definitely noticed the engagement in my videos going up since we've been in lockdown because obviously everyone is at home um, watching a lot more YouTube I imagine um, but I just wanted you to know that I really appreciate it it's nice to go on to my videos and see lots of lovely comments um, but yeah I'm gonna watch the Imagineering story and then have some dinner later I'm having leftover scones for breakfast um, because I'm just at that point in quarantine now to be honest um, but a lot of people on Instagram told me to um, use a protein shake or a whisk to whip up the double cream uh, so that we could put it on the scones and I used a protein shaker yesterday and it worked brilliantly so if you ever find yourself <laughs> just with some pouring cream instead of the thick stuff that you want for scones put it in a protein shaker it really worked and Archie is desperate for some scones but he can't have any hi everyone I just wanted to come on and finish the vlog it's actually now Monday morning um I had a bit of a chilled day yesterday my Crohn's has given me a few issues at the moment and I had a really bad tummy most of the day yesterday so I just didn't really feel like filming I didn't get ready all day I just sat in my pajamas on the couch um, and watched Disney Plus and things um, I did a little bit of crafting uh, but that is about it so um, yeah I just wanted to come on and finish the vlog I wasn't going to talk about it in this little segment but then I figured that um, if I didn't, it would be like, it wouldn't be until next week that you would sort of hear my thoughts on it. But um, obviously we had a government update last night from the Prime Minister about uh, current lockdown rules. And the rules were eased slightly, which I don't necessarily agree with. And I don't necessarily agree with the way it's been done either. So for those who don't live in the UK, we've now been told that we can have unlimited exercise outdoors, including like going and sitting in the park or like sitting on the beach and we can drive to places to take that exercise. So if I wanted to, I could pack up the car and like drive all the way to the beach now and we live like an hour away from any beach in any direction. So it just, that just seems crazy to me. I feel like the parks and the beaches are gonna be rammed because people are obviously gonna go there while the weather's nice because the weather's meant to be nice for like the next week. 
and I just don't know <laughs> and like people have been told to go back to work if they can't work from home so I think a lot of people are going to be pressured to go back to work when it's actually not safe to do so um, schools are potentially reopening from the 1st of June with like a phased return um, I have to isolate until at least the end of June so I won't be able to go back to work and I don't know what that means for me I don't know whether I'll be paid I don't know um, what any of it like I don't know where I stand in any of it really because um, obviously as part of the vulnerable group I'm meant to just be staying at home anyway so yeah in terms of work and stuff I'm a bit worried about that and there was no mention of when people might be able to um, see family they talked about like pubs and restaurants and cinemas and stuff but most of us just want to know like when we can go and see our parents or whatever so I'm hoping more details will come out today. It really was unclear like regarding the we the wedding as well because I was really hoping that he would set out like a clear roadmap tomorrow of what they're hoping to do. Like obviously we know it's it all depends on on whether there's a second peak and the rate of infection and everything. I know that, but it would be would have been good to have sort of like some clear idea of what they're hoping to do like other countries have done. Um, but there are going to be some more details released today so maybe it'll be sort of detailed in that but at the moment we're still unclear on whether we should definitely postpone the wedding so it's all a little bit up in the air at the moment um, but yeah if anyone else is feeling a little bit meh about it let me know in the comments we can have a chat my DMs are always open for anyone who wants to have a chat but maybe doesn't want to do it publicly um, but yeah I just wanted to sort of leave my thoughts at the end of the vlog I also finished another book last night finding paris by joy preble preble um it was okay i really want to read another like great book that one was sort of just okay but yeah i've read eight books in lockdown now so that's good but yeah this morning i've got up and dressed and ready i want to have a bit of a productive day even if that means like just spending all day crafting to me that is productive um yeah i will see you next week guys Goodbye. <laughs>